Let's go ahead and talk about the asbestos roof while we're sitting here. So I put this on the uh, the agenda just so that uh, uh, the select board knows uh, what the proposed timeline for this project and what it will involve. Um, you have the mic right up there, but I'll just summarize for the sake of uh, everybody who doesn't have these notes. Uh, so um, we're still shooting for a March 4th release of the bid documents for the removal of the vinyl asbestos tile on two floors of the town hall uh, and replacement with a uh, nicer floor that isn't made of asbestos. Um, we've been talking about this in uh, departmental head meetings since November. Uh, the building committee has been working actively on this and I think they have comments for us tonight. Um, the fire department offered the community meeting room at the public safety complex as a town hall site as while well. we're um, undergoing this renovation. This, uh, the schedule is uh, March 4th, release of the IFB, April 29th, open the bids, May 6th, award the bid, June 3rd, uh, a month later, all the contracts were signed and disseminated. And then July 1st through 12th, we clean out everything from town hall. We either store it or we set it up as a temporary town hall over at the uh, community, uh, uh, community meeting room, which is part of our continuity of operations plan. And so we thought this would be a good opportunity to uh, exercise our continuity of operations plan in a non-emergency situation so we can shake out all the bugs and, and uh, issues that uh, that will arise inevitably. Uh, and I'll have a little bit more to say about that. So we either store things uh, in the basement, store things off-site, or move them over to the community meeting room, switching over the utilities and all the communications and set up an uh, operational uh, town hall that'll be uh, in effect until April, August 31st. The asbestos and abatement, uh, asbestos abatement and floor replacement would take place in the latter part of July, and then we return all departments back to town hall starting August 3rd, uh, and have a post-mortem on August 5th. This is if everything works out okay, all the bids come in under budget and, and so forth. Um, I've also been in touch with our insurance company and council to make sure that we have the proper insurance requirements and liability language in our contracts so that uh, uh, the liability and risk to the to the town is minimal uh, and does the building committee have anything to say about uh, your efforts to uh, move this project forward one of our biggest things is to make sure that the specifications are done correctly it's, uh, we reached out to Gary Berg uh, reached out to a gentleman at Amherst College, which is, uh, has done this quite a number of times, and he was very helpful coming through the building, giving us some suggestions, and giving us some names of some people that they work with uh, quite a few times to uh, try to give us the expertise that we need to get this project uh, going forward. And uh, we do have a proposal for those services, both for the uh, supervision of the entire project and the upfront uh, requirements for the specifications and everything else. It is, um, we have seen a sample of um, the specifications that are needed for this type of complex project, and it's well over 50 odd pages long. You have to deal with every single thing, even down to this specific type of um, placards that are needed around the building, inside the building. Everything has to be done properly. So we are seeking professional help on, get, on getting that done properly. It is way beyond our knowledge <coughs> how to deal with it. So we do have that. And um, I've talked to David. David's been very helpful on how we can proceed with that. And uh, it's going to be a very complicated project, much more than we anticipated at the very beginning. 
and um, they've given us some good advice on what we can and can't do within the building on trying to lower the costs uh, associated with this. So how does this, how does this fit into the budget? So right now we have $100,000 that's dedicated for this purpose. You came up with quotes for the uh, bid specifications, the uh, bid supervision, and the con uh, construction uh, supervision. And I think that came out to about $17,000, which seemed a little high. We can do the bid process, so we can reduce some of that cost because the, you know, we, didn't, we don't need a specialist for that part. Uh, we need the specifications and we need someone to oversee the project. Um, but the bidding we can do in-house. So you're going to go back and take a look at the, at right. what um, that savings might be. With one of the one of the things that they will do for us is give us an accurate estimate. And what I'd like to do, just in case we do go over that one hundred thousand dollar figure when it comes back to us on the estimate, to put have an article set aside and ready for a town meeting if we have to get some more funds. Um, the hope is that we'll be very close to the 100000 but uh, um, we're going to, this is going to be cut pretty tight with regard to needing possibly more funds out of town meeting and uh, getting an estimate. So. This 100000 is all general <coughs> fund capital, right? Right. So this, I'm, I'm going to just put you on the spot. I, you and I haven't had a chance to discuss this, but might have, if we had a, uh, a bid that came in high, maybe we uh, split the flooring. We do the, the parts of the floor which are the, the worst condition, the downstairs, I think it is, and then save the upper floor for later on. That's it's, uh, something we, to think about. I would say not to do that because yeah. your biggest cost is just securing the building and right. moving it's out of the building. Your setup on is the biggest cost. Yeah. You've got to pull negative air on the whole building. You've mm -hmm. got to air sample it. If you do one floor, then you got to yeah. air sample everything down below again. They have to cut off the entire area. The building's too small. Just and it's really, <laughs> if we'll have to make a decision. It's going to be a go or no go situation. Do we do it now? We'll know what the funds and we're just going to have to redo it. But the, the real hope is we're not going to be too far off the mark. The one thing that, <coughs> that um, I, I think is going to help with the budget a little bit, but also increase it in other respects is uh, they have told us, which we did not know, we have to take up the subfloor, the plywood under it. You cannot leave the plywood there. Uh, they're saying there's oh, asbestos in well, the plastic. Well, for one, two plywood is, is awful thin here, and it's not very good, and that's part of why the floor is well, cracking. Crack. You can see some of the cracks here where it was the subfloor that's cracking. Mm -hmm. The other problem is that the glue that they used to put it down with is probably also asbestos. Yeah, it's going to be know. soaked into that wood. And they said, yeah, you you know, you're not going to sit there and grind it and, and peg it down. You can just pop up. I don't think it's much more than a half inch. It might be less than that. Okay. And they yeah. can take it up, and it'll be a lot easier just to lay down. You know, you're gonna have to put a new subfloor down anyway. So if you take the whole thing out, then you've got rid of everything at the top. So you're gonna get more information for us and come back and. You know what I'd like to what work with David. We want to try to um, modify this quote that we have and bring it back to you very quickly, and you have it, get it signed off so we can get these guys in here and come up with a, um, a good act and good act, uh, estimate for us. Okay. Is the only IT related costs <coughs> factored in here? I'm sorry? The cost, I mean, given our experience that we're hearing with our IT support, I mean, a big part of this is getting the computers up and running over at the safety complex. Has that been factored in? No, uh, really. I think I think there was some thought of uh, that hundred thousand would cover the part of the move, and that's one of the things they were talking about. Uh, in terms of our computer system, it's pretty portable. Uh, you've got the same dark fiber, you've got the same fiber connection in your your uh, building as we do here. But is it punched out where you'd be working? There is a there is network there, yes. But I mean. I 
you have I to mean, make sure I, that there I are mean, enough. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would encourage getting somebody to take a look at that because right. that could wind up being more costly than you always get surprised when you're mm -hmm. moving IT equipment. So. Okay, we're okay with that. Okay. Thank you. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you.